Developing now, a traffic stop leads to a physical confrontation between an Orange County deputy and a man. Part of it was caught on video. Now the sheriff's office says it's reviewing the case after that video was shared on social media. News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us live at the sheriff's office with the details on this one tonight. Lauren? The Orange County Sheriff's Office tells me a response to resistance report will be completed and reviewed by their professional standards unit after a video on social media shows a deputy with his arm around a man's neck. This video that the Orange County Sheriff's Office says it's aware of shows Deputy Kyle Plavkin hitting 28-year-old Raheen Ellis twice before putting his arm around his neck. According to the report, Deputy Plavkin conducted a traffic stop near the intersection of Silver Star Road and Belco on Friday, April 22nd. The report says Ellis didn't have a license to drive and the license plate on the car he was driving didn't match the car itself. But during the traffic stop, the report says Ellis pushed Plavkin and ran. It says Ellis then started to run around the parking lot and then got back in his car, at which point Plavkin removed him. That's when the report says Ellis began fighting Plavkin and at one point kicked the deputy in the face. But it's unclear at what point this happened. Regular customer, he comes in all the time. The last time I seen him was right before that incident happened. Soup works across the street from where the incident happened. He says he knows Ellis and watched the confrontation unfold. The kid was over there and the cop had the kid in a chokehold, but before he had him in a chokehold, he punched him in the head two times and then came in the chokehold and I looked and I said, check. And I said, they gotta help him. And they should have been helping the cops. They should have been, somebody should have been helping that officer. Somebody should have been helping that kid. It's unclear in this short clip if Ellis is being choked. The arrest report says both Plavkin and Ellis were taken to the hospital, the deputy for injuries, and Ellis, quote, due to him stating he could not breathe. I have obtained a copy of the sheriff's office response to resistance policy, which states, quote, the use of neck restraints are prohibited except for deadly force. But following a number of questions I sent them, the Orange County Sheriff's Office says they are going to allow the review process to take place, adding, quote, a response to resistance report will be completed and reviewed by our professional standards unit. The questions you are asking cannot be answered until a full response to resistance is written and reviewed. Ellis is facing charges of battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting an officer with violence. For now, in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.